Alright guys, so, it's probably going to be a short one, but, um, the GTA Online event week that we have received this week being the pilot week themed, anyone is able to receive a free Nagasaki Ultralight. Now, you don't have to do this by signing in, all you got to do is go into, obviously log into online, go to the airplane website and purchase it that is literally all you've got to do um, this probably isn't going to be a long um, episode about it mainly because there's not really much going on with it uh, that you can do but there is some cool little features now first thing I will point out is that the primary and secondary color part of it is mainly on the actual bars that you sit around and the other color is mainly the wing on the top so you kinda got color for the bars color for the wings liveries there's a few uh, they're not I mean they're alright there's nothing kind of like I mean you got some of the, the standard gun running camo themed ones in there but it's not exactly a vehicle you'd class as having a camo theme I guess um, but I will get on to the main point of this vehicle two good things one it is weaponized you can put a weapon on the vehicle now I was doing some testing with this weapon and it's actually pretty good if you can get if you can get a decent amount of shots onto a target um, you can actually do some pretty decent and very quick damage because um, obviously you'll see on the gameplay I managed to land it which I'll get to the landing and the handling in a minute Jesus um, managed to land it on the road get a car in front started shooting the engine by the way to access the weapon on the ultralight you do have to cycle through it as if going through your personal weapons to shoot out of a vehicle um, but yeah shooting straight at the engine and within a few seconds really it had gone uh, there were times where I was getting like two shots onto a car and they were blowing up I think I might have been hitting um, something on the car that causes it to blow up instantly a bit like how with GTA San Andreas if you shoot the fuel tank or the fuel filler cap um, the car blows up immediately. I think I might have been hitting something like that. Um, if you're wondering about that, it's about where the back wheel is. If you kind of aim between the wheel and the uh, wheel arch kind of thing. I'm guessing that's where I was hitting. But you only get the one weapon. It's either nothing or that. So, But the main decent thing is that you can change the propellers on this vehicle now obviously you've got the stock one which is just your standard small propeller you've got your secondary one which is the rotors are well the rotors are a bit longer I'm not sure if it makes any difference I think it just gives you ro just a longer rotor um, but the main decent one there is is the black muffled rotor or propeller now this gives the ultralight a little special ability that if you are accelerating at a slow enough speed or if you have accelerated to a speed and you let go of the accelerator and you just start gliding through the air you will not appear on the radar a bit like how the Akula has its stealth mode where you cannot fire while in stealth mode and you come off the radar to everyone without having to pay the charge of coming off the radar this is exactly the same if you go slow enough you will not appear on the radar in any form now I'm not sure if using your weapon will reappear you on the radar but all I know is that if you go at a s accelerate at a slower, slow enough speed or glide you will not appear on the radar which gives you a little bit of an edge if you're trying to just get through the city in peace or you just want to enjoy 
a peaceful glide through the air like you're in a glider just want to enjoy a nice little peaceful thing obviously this doesn't prevent you from being locked on to uh, you do have countermeasures like the flares and the chaff and everything but seriously the speed this thing goes if you're gonna have any countermeasures on it I've put the smoke just because this thing is not going to be dodging any kind of missiles of any form in any point in the future at all um, the only way that this thing will be able to dodge missiles is if the person firing the missiles has not got a lock on that's probably the only way because this thing moves so slowly even with fully upgraded engine any missile will be able to hit it so flares or chaff will not do anything and to be honest you even going slow enough with no cover around you whatsoever that you could probably just get sniped out of the driver's seat so countermeasure wise if you're going to do something if you want something do smoke because at least that way you can have a little bit of fun with it but apart from the engine and the gun well the uh, propellers and the guns there's nothing else really about this vehicle that's any good I mean it's slow I guess depending on what you're using it for slow is good slow is bad it depends the handling now when you are on the ground you have to use the tail um, flaps to be able to turn now I don't think this thing has tail flaps but as if you were in a normal plane whatever button you would use on whatever controller you've got you would use the tail flaps to actually turn the vehicle on the ground if you are in the air and you try using the tail flaps you will not turn you actually have to bank the ultralight to be able to turn in any direction so don't try and use your tail to turn in the air it won't work or it will but it's very very slow um, but yeah overall it's not a fast vehicle it's not a good combat vehicle but it is a very good peaceful vehicle and considering that you are able to get it for free this week I would suggest going to get it because it's a free vehicle how often do we get free vehicles in GTA Online not very often so go get yourself an ultralight and just have some fun with it it's free it's normally about I think 630,000 so say about a million once you finished upgrading that's a million dollars you've saved just by getting it today or just by getting it this week so go get yourself one and have some fun with it so I know I said this wasn't probably gonna be a long one but I'm at eight minutes and woo right anyway so yeah if you enjoyed leave a like comment if you've got one and what your favorite feature is on it and obviously if you do enjoy then please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on updates and videos I unleash onto the channel and I will see you in the next one.